cut and action. Uh, howdy to y'all. I debated whether I do one uh, now or not, but I decided why not. Um, don't bag on my shirt, just a comfortable hang around a patio shirt. Don't get excited, man. I haven't gone to the dark side. So I got this beer here that um, I got from uh, Dave Coulter from uh, Spear Sampling with Dave. He sent me some Ohio brews, man. Um, I've had a couple brews, only a couple from Fatheads before, and I've just loved them. I thought the hop juju was just whoo. Uh, but he sent me this uh, Trailhead Pale Ale, keep it cold, drink it fresh. Uh, 6.3 percent 55 IBUs and on the bottom it says canned on 7 9 of 14 so it is pretty fresh let me read just a tad from their can here uh, trailhead pale ale is handcrafted using citra 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 uh, citra mosaic simcoe and Amarillo hops great for grilling out after a great day on the trails Hey, get your can off the couch, find a trailhead, and get back some good vibes. <laughs> a portion of the proceeds goes directly to the Cleveland Metro Parks Trail Trails Fund. Chill out, man. Have a beer. That's my philosophy, too, man. Uh, so, shit a bit, man. Uh, pours very nice, as you can see. A uh, nice... Uh, uh, kind of a tan dense head there uh, pours I don't know what color you'd call that you tell me these off colors throw me off I don't see shades very well oh uh, very pleasant aroma very pleasant indeed man can't we all just get along mm. Wow, um, wow, it's a very nice, uh, very interesting pale ale. Um, uh, hmm, hold on a second, I'm going to say something here, but I want to make sure I'm going to get it right. Typically, you, you get you get some, some big malts up front, whatever flavor profile they're going for, and hops uh, on the back end, but this one I'm, I'm feeling it a little different, so hold on just a second. I'm actually feeling some of that hoppage right away, then the malt, and then the hops again. Very interesting indeed. So, bitch, I like it. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, I'm losing my marbles. I've had a, I had a friend once tell me he had a, a friend who was into beer. Uh, craft beer did a lot of home brewing. <laughs> was watching my videos and was asking him about me. And he says, "Well, he eventually gets the profile right, but you got to listen to a lot of other stuff before you can do that." <laughs> yeah, you know that's kind of what I do. I'm not really a beer reviewer, uh, so yeah. <laughs> if you want just the facts, I'm not the guy you want to watch. I'm just kind of hanging out and having a beer, whether it's on the patio or at a pub. It's kind of what I do. Uh, yeah, and this, this is a, a great beer for that, actually. This is perfect patio beer. I like how I segued into that. Yeah, I mean, they mentioned here, great for um, on the trails. Um, I mean, it's, it's perfect barbecue pale ale. I mean, it is. It, it's big. It's hoppy. It's malted properly, but not overly malted. Uh, it doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel too light. It's, it's just right, you know. Just like Goldilocks, you know, just like the baby bear's bed, you know. It's just right, man. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Um, I haven't got into any detail about the beer yet. Have you? <laughs> I've just kind of told you how it made me feel. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I get these. I was expecting something different. Let me take another sip, and I'm going to talk a little bit. Huh? That's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm getting almost these brown sugar notes uh, that are that are wrapped around, um, you know, some, like like some stone fruit, some peach apricot notes, and then I get the huge hop at the end. I mean, yeah, it's an interesting blend here, uh, you know, of, of the Amarillo, um, what do they say here, Amarillo, uh, Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe. Yeah, I mean, you, you feel the flavors that you typically get, get from those. Oh, 
wow. Uh, you, you certainly get huge pine. You certainly get huge citrus as well. I mean, monstrous citrus. Um, a grapefruit. I, I get. Uh, I get grapefruit. I get tangerine. I'm getting some tropical fruit notes. Uh, I'm certainly getting the. Yeah, mango passion fruit kind of thing going on. Yeah, it's nice. It, it, the thing about it, though, is that the balance is perfect. It doesn't go too far out on a limb in any one direction. On the malt end or the hop end, it kind of it, it, it starts to go like this and then just pulls it all together. Um, it, it's very nice. It's incredibly enjoyable. Um, uh, the first beer I ever had from Fat Heads was, their, I believe, uh, their Headhunter IPA. I thought it was just phenomenal. And then uh, last uh, October, uh, October, no, September, last September, uh, I was in the Kentucky area, and I found um, uh, the Hop Juju, uh, and that was just amazing. Um, and now this one here from Dave, uh, I've also got their Sunshine Daydream uh, Session IPA in the fridge. I'm, I may pop that badass tomorrow, but I was kind of in the mood, and I was I've been going a lot of different directions today, but I haven't had a beer in a while. And it's kind of winding down this evening, you know. It's starting to we're starting to close in on dusk, and I just felt like uh, a pale ale, to be honest. So hey, thanks, Dave. I really love this beer; it's just phenomenal. Um, now that I'm seeing the color better, I wasn't seeing the color. Sometimes my eyes don't focus in. Um, it's kind of a, a light copper, I suppose. Or I don't. I don't know. You tell me, people. Certainly get a lot. Of, I don't think I talked about the yeah, kind of winter from the wrong way. I just I lost focus right from the start here. Um, I certainly get a lot of pine, a lot of citrus on the aromas. Uh, and initially, I get a, a lot of pine, and then 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 I get followed up by the citrus. Uh, I certainly feel uh, feel kind of the, the those mango mango notes on the nose as well it's very nice indeed so I've, I've ran a lot longer than I expect sometimes I just love quit talking man I just shut up Tom uh, so anyway I was saying thanks Dave Coulter from from beer sampling with Dave uh, we'll get your package off in the mail shortly uh, so thank you sir this is a wonderful beer